if you feel you can relate to that, then I have been in your shoes all my life. I try to get better grades, make more money, get a better job, then I move to a different country, try to learn ways of a different culture, language, try to make new friends. Always, all my life, I try to fit in. In order to fit in, I try to change the way I talk, the way I look, the way I dress. Everything about me in a way that at some point I didn't know who I was anymore. And when I was traveling in this uh, trip, I took nine months to come to a point where I even gave myself some time to slow down. Because when you're traveling, you know, everybody is telling you what to see, what to do, or if, if people are suggesting you go see this tourist attraction go do that so it took me nine plus months to actually stop actually moving around constantly and deciding to be in one place because I realized that I lost my job last year in May and hence this trip was a bit of an impromptu decision and I was running away from myself basically I did not realize that till recently that I was trying to make myself busy the day the way I did at back at home if some of you know me you know every single weekend I go canyoning or I go rock climbing I'm always busy doing something and COVID didn't help because we were working from home and uh, in this trip was the same scenario. I was always one week in this city, then I move, and I want to see this, I want to book this tour. So even though I was on the road, but I was not on the road of self-discovery or healing. And have you ever felt that you are so tired of being someone else, you're pretending to be this other person that... You just need a break that's the point hit me I just felt you know what I can't do this anymore because I'm always trying to please everyone that's probably being Indian that that was part of my personality I was always trying to not have a conflict so even if I didn't like something I just went uh, went ahead with it and a lot of that took a lot of energy out of me so I'll feel tired because I, I never knew how to say no to big things. Okay, small things, like we all make adjustment for friends and family. But when it came to big things, I realized I was trying to behave as if I'm this other person who everybody likes and I have to please everyone. And last few weeks, I've been going on this tremendous self-realization journey. I've always done... Uh, a lot of active outdoor sports and as I'm traveling sometimes I can't do that so I've been consistent with my yoga practices and I've got into more different kind of meditation like I'm trying to open my chakras grounding techniques and you name it and I probably I'm trying it right now why why was i trying and listening to all this uh, podcast and videos and trying to read about different meditation because i felt a part of me was missing and guess what it was not just a part a whole whole of me was missing i was hiding behind these layers that i thought they were part of me which was not true so just like an onion <laughs> if you imagine taking the layers of onion out, I have been trying to unlayer all these different personality I've taken over the years since I grew up. And in the process, I have been able to find a lot of original parts of me. I don't think it's, uh, I'm, I'm at the end of this journey and sometime I don't know if I will ever be. But it has brought me a lot of peace, immense joy. And I'm here to share my journey in terms of techniques I've used. How every single techniques have, uh, have helped me find peace, find joy, 
understanding what real self-love is. Self-love is not to buy you some fancy meal. Self-love is not just buy yourself a dress in a month. Self is not giving yourself those little drops of joy every now and then. Because let's face it, that's not a flowing river. A friend of mine recently mentioned, you know what? Because I was discussing with her saying, I thought I love myself, but I have put it I've been putting myself in a very uncom uncomfortable scenarios as I'm traveling with people, with places, um, to save uh, some money, uh, putting my body into some hardship. And the point she made was just amazing. What she said was, self-love has to be like a river, a free-flowing river. Don't make it a page, don't make it a little small a trickle of water that you every now and then dip your toes in. But it has to be a continuous love. If some of you have kids, the moment the kid is born, you give the kid this selfless love constantly without expecting much in return. That's the exact love you have to give to yourself. Not once in a day, not once in a week, not once in a month, but constant joy, free-flowing like a river. I hope you take it in a little bit. I know I have tried to say a lot of things in a little few minutes, but I will break it down, all of that for you, because... Loving yourself means loving your body, accepting the way you look, accepting this body is so beautiful because it is, has given you this vehicle to experience joy, taste, senses, all your senses, you smell, you can listen, you can see things. So we should be grateful for this body. Loving your mind. Okay, we all have negative thoughts, but do not beat yourself over it. Loving your energy, your spirit. And guess what? Because I have just gone through this massive transformation on my own, it took me nine months to slow down to get to this point. And I would like to share it with you day by day. And I make you a promise that if you follow this, you will be in such a better place. If you want to experience joy, if you want to experience self-love, if you want to experience changes, a positive change in your life, hopefully you subscribe to this video and I will be posting a regular online video here to help you through this journey. But guess what? You have to start it. You have to make that decision that you want to make this choice of moving from where you are up into the world in a way that you reclaim who you are. You remember how beautiful you are. You have been doing so much stuff for everyone else around you. Now it's time to love yourself because guess what? If you fill yourself with so much light, so much joy, so much love, it shines through and people recognize it. And it has been happening to me constantly. So yes, I invite you to my world of healing and I will share with you every day this journey I'm going through and hope you enjoy listening to me and hope I listen to some of your feedback if you have any during this little series I'm planning to do. Let's say I'll try and do it for 21 days because that's when they say a habit is built. I'll do a little snippet. This is a long one because I want to do, give you some understanding who I am, where I come from. But I'll 